channel welcome back to selenite moments so today's video will be talking about self-love so i started my self-love journey back in march um how it all came about i had a reading during the weekend of my birthday and during that reading i was told that i need to work on my self-love and i already knew that was something that i needed to work on it was just like a confirmation and um with self-love sometimes we we lose ourselves, and um, I was told that I need to work on different types of boundaries and how I pour love into everyone else, and I'm not pouring love into myself, and people are not, and certain people are not pouring love like into me. So, doing this journey, and like I said, I've started this journey back in March. I'm just going to share some of the things that I've done that helped me along this way and do know that I am still going through this journey. I hope that the things that I'm going to share with you will be able to help you on your self journey. I said to myself, this is a journey, it's not a race and I have to be patient with myself and to know that I didn't develop these feelings of not having the self love overnight. And I know that me um, creating this self love for myself will not happen overnight and that I need to know that this is a journey and there'll be some good days and there'll be some bad days and just to know just to keep pushing forward. So the first thing we want to talk about is what is self-love and for me self-love is knowing that you are enough um, without any complexities or conditions and if you see me looking down just know that I'm reading from my notes. Self-love is an art that can be mastered and practiced over time. Cultivating a loving and healthy relationship with ourselves and becoming our best our own best friend like I look at it as loving yourself like if you was to love your husband or love your child or love whoever you give them love right so you want to love yourself like that if you're in love with somebody you want to love yourself like that but more you want to be in love with yourself you want to be your biggest fan your best friend and I know a lot of times when we don't have self-love we self-shame we, we talk down about ourselves. Um, also, not having self-love also is not having boundaries, not creating boundaries, not having time for ourselves. Um, us being mothers and wives and sisters and aunt, uh, aunts and stuff like that. Um, you know, we lose ourselves. We're stretched thin. We have so many different roles that we play and we sometimes lose ourselves. And I feel like when you're going on the self-love journey, I feel like the first thing that you need to do is reflect and know that you have to do the shadow work. You have to face the things that you see that you allowed that happened or you allowed to happen. And I'm not gonna lie, I cried a lot. I, I was like, wow, I just can't believe that I allowed that to happen. Oh, I can't believe that I continue to let this go on or whatever the case may be. And you're gonna cry and you're gonna be upset with yourself. But don't, don't talk down to yourself. Just know that this is a healing process also and that along the way, you're going to cry, you're gonna be sad and you're gonna be happy. But just know that it's a learning process and be, please, no, please be patient with yourself. I had to learn to be patient with myself. I definitely recommend you journaling this self-love journey so when you're actually to the end and to you're done even though self-love is something you'll have to work on all the time when you get to the point where you um are in love with yourself again and you're your own best friend you can go back and look back at that journal and see how far you've come and another journal that i decided to buy um is the five minute journal Okay, so this is a gratitude journal. So with self-love, you always want to start off with anything you want to start off with gratitude. You want to give out that love. So this journal is basically takes five minutes. It breaks it down from day and it breaks it down to night. So it always starts off with a quote. And like I'm looking at this quote right now. It says the greatest of human emotions is love. The most valuable of human gifts is the ability to learn. Therefore, learn to love. And then it'll say, um, it'll say who it's written by. And then the first three letters will say, I am grateful for. And you'll put down the three things that you're grateful for that day. And then the next thing will ask, would, what would make today great? And you write down three different things that will make today great. That will make today great. 
and then you'll do your daily affirmation as in I am. And it has a couple of lines that you can write down your affirmation for the day. And then when you come back at night, before you go to bed, the three amazing things, you write down the three amazing things that happened today. And then you write, how could I have made, the next thing is, how could I have made today even better? The whole thing about the having the gratitude is basically putting that gratitude out to receive love and showing the universe that you are grateful for certain things. And it starts your day off really well. And it ends your night off well as well and like I said it's only it's only five minutes and I'll have a link down below um, to where I brought this from which is on Amazon the thing that I incorporated was I brought um, waist beads and I'll probably just insert a clip or something of waist beads but I definitely incorporated some self-love waist beads and that I put around my waist that and that gives me that energy of self-love I then incorporated a book and um, it's called Pussy Prayers. And um, it is a sacred and sensual ritual for wild women of color. So this book is basically just like, it's like sister girl talk. It's like a book like you're just talking to your sister, you're just talking to your friend, your best friend. It's just like girl talk. I really like this book. Um, it help, talks about the healings of the trauma and the power of the pussy, basically. Okay, so you've got French. Um, it, it just basically talks about um, us as women, you know, how, you know, we are strong and we create, we can create life. And it talks about the different things growing up that they told us to be ashamed of. And, and it just basically helps us. This book definitely helps you be able to heal from different types of trauma and to be able to know that you are magical and the fact that you can actually create life, you can carry life and create life makes us very strong as women. And this self-love video is also for men as well, but I'm gonna gear it more to our women, okay? So I definitely will definitely recommend this book. I will definitely link this book down below. Um, I bought this book as well off of Amazon. The next thing that I want to talk about is the self-love workbook for women. I really, love this book this is a very good interactive workbook it breaks it down of what is self-love um how is self you know what is self-love to you and it basically lets you know that self-love is more than just getting your nails done and getting your your massage and getting your nails done and getting your hair done that's nice and all but we want to work on the internal Self-love is working within, and it's okay to work on the outside, but we want to work within. And so this book breaks down like working within yourself, looking within yourself, and it has all different types of activities. It talks about the different lessons. It tells you um, how, you know, different types of meditation, um, notes to your younger self, strength. I definitely, definitely recommend this workbook. I brought this off of Amazon as well. I'll link it down below. Um, so these are just some of the things that I utilize. I do work with crystals like um, love, like this rose quartz, um, which is connected to your heart. I do meditation where I hold the crystal in my hand or different crystals that are associated with your heart chakra. And I try to like it just do like different types of meditation or yoga I'll put the crystals around and do yoga um, with the crystals around me also one thing that you want to do is make sure you set aside time for yourself in order for you to go into this self-love journey you have to utilize some type of me time if it's only just 10 or 15 minutes some type of me time what I normally do when I get ready to start journaling or reading or working on my workbook or if I'm doing my meditation or yoga whatever it is that is my self-love um, healing that I'm doing I of course will start off with my um, light up your space protection spray I'll go ahead and I'll spray the the spray over setting the intentions to protect the energy to remove any negative energy and to bring in positive energy and then I'll follow by the I'll follow by the focus spray, which will then also 
bring in that focus for me to focus on my self-love focus on the task at hand and to uplift my spirits to uplift my energy or uplift the energy around and at night before I go to bed before I do the other half of my gratitude journal I will also then go ahead and spray my sleep spray um during that time I spray the sleep spray before I'll go ahead and write in my journal and then I'll go ahead and I'll go to sleep and I, like I said I'll have more different I'll have more videos with this self-love journey because I like I said I just started back in March and I still have a lot of work that I need to do but do know that I am here for you and I hope that some, some of the tips and things and tools that I use to utilize my journey I hope that you'll be you guys will be able to take from what I was able to share with you today and if you like more videos like this go ahead and hit the like button and smash the, smash the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be able to get notified for more videos like this that I'll be uploading and don't forget to follow me on Instagram at selenite moments where you can follow me outside of YouTube I just want to tell you thank you for having me on this journey with you guys this spiritual journey and I just hope that you stay healthy stay strong 